right. Um, my name is uh, Michael Bohm. Um, I'm doing this video as an explanation video. Um, as an explanation video. Um, <clears throat> um, my computer was sabotaged. And uh, I have to use... I'm trying to save files, video files. Um, I have to put them on a portable hard drive and take them to the other computer to upload them to the internet. <clears throat> and uh, if I can't fix my computer, my neighbor put a virus on it. My neighbor put a virus on it. Um, either last Thursday or last Friday. It was an icon on my desktop that looked like a piece of paper, almost. <clears throat> um, he tried to name it the same as um, one of my other files on the desktop, and uh, it's the same man that's been breaking in my house, um, stealing, trying to take credit for <clears throat> several of my designs and patterns in the past as well as um, some music as well as some things that I wrote um, but none hurt more than my computer you know uh, anyways um, <clears throat> and there's also been several other people that I've talked to here in the recent past that said He's put the same type virus on their computer. And it's one that makes the screen blink. The screen just starts blinking. Yeah. Anyways, um, so I'm going through trying to save the files I can. Um, <clears throat> I, I had um, did what I have to offer. I have another channel. I know I'm not supposed to talk about that. Please allow this as um, I'm referencing things that were on that channel. What I have to offer is a list of melody blocks <clears throat> that I had to offer. Um, and there was five melody blocks that I had to offer roughly and there was <clears throat> one more thing that I was going to offer and I have it but <clears throat> um I don't know if I should hold it up right this second or not um it's a uh there was a storm surge and uh, I'm just going to hold it up keep it in this the saltest material I have it in a safe this is it right here it's supposed to be the rarest it's really really old and really um, um, valuable it's supposed to be really valuable it was all together and I had a neighbor you know um, I was friends with him years ago and that's when I got this years ago and he came over here, he was, I don't know, he's on alcohol, he was um, intoxicated on something, and he picked this up and dropped it. And I said, no! And I slid my foot really fast underneath it to catch it. And it still, it took that chip off right there. It took that chip off. Other than that, it was all together. This is supposed to be one of the rarest and oldest pieces and, and altogether pieces of pottery um, that's ever been found. It's very old. I don't know, you know, what 
civilization, what tribe or, or, or whatever, even what they would be called, that actually made this. But the craft, the craftsmanship and the, and the skill level is very high. I feel it's very high and I feel it, it probably took some time. Uh, I guarantee it was by hand. If you see the markings on it, um, I feel that they are from, that it's a skilled, a person that was skilled that, you know, uh, probably made a bunch of these. Um, <clears throat> there was a storm surge, um, and it basically unearthed um, a couple feet of dirt. Um, it was a little bit down south. People were finding things. This was, I believe, in 2014. Might have been the end of 2013. It was either the end of 2013 or the beginning of 2014 when um, I found this. Um, some other people found some other things. Um, I believe some similar things were found. Um, be right before I found this, there was another piece of this same type material that was in the same area. And um, I went back to get a shovel. And my, actually, my, uh, my neighbors and some of their friends actually rode down there at the same time as um, several of my family members rode down there. Um, but I rode separate. I told my family members to bring a shovel and some other things. And uh, I rode down there with the friends and, and the neighbor. And then we got down there. And, um, <clears throat> and everybody took off in their own little direction. So, I, you know, I did the same. I went off, I uh, looked, I decided to go back, come back, go another way. Started going up there, uh, up this one way, and, I, and you know, I'm looking down, and uh, I see what looks like a little piece of, of clay thing, and it was. It was something similar to this, but it was broke. It was broke off, and <clears throat> when I took, when I picked it up and I looked at it, um, I thought there might be some more. So I went to get my shovel, and I put a circle around it. I tried to make a circle around it or, or whatnot. You know, I told them to wait there. Um, then this group of people that come right up on me. Um, by the time I got back, they had already surrounded around the thing and actually put something, uh, this like tape around it. Yeah, around the thing that I had just found that I was, you know, fixing to dig up and unearth. You know, I had a specific way that I was going to do it and they wouldn't let me back in. Yeah. I was mad, so I went up some more, and um, um, I thought I seen something else, so I was going to sift through that, and, you know, I went back to get something else, and the same thing happened to me again, um, so I was upset, then I came down, you know, a little bit further on the opposite side, and I spotted this, I spotted this, and uh, nobody was down there to even help me. At all. Nobody was there. I dug it up all by myself. Um, I dug way mm. underneath it. Way underneath it. Picked it up. And, uh, um, it was a big thing of dirt. And then I grabbed around it like this. And I carried it back. Um, by that time my family had got, my family was there. Um, I put it in there. I seen some other things around the same area that I wanted to get. I went directly back out there. And um, I was digging. I wasn't even sure what this was because it was in the dirt so tight. Um, I thought it was just going to be like the other pieces that I that I rather that were just, you know, broken fragments. It wasn't until I got home I was shocked. It's the whole piece. Yeah, a whole piece. And you know I had to run water over it very gently. The water just trickled off like that. You know, I under the sink I took the lightest brush, like a paintbrush. That I had, and I just gently, every little spot, you know, I just had to get it all, you know, nice and you know, just like a professional would do. Um, and um, and this is what it was. You know, we got several people have tried to break in and steal this. Since then, they have broken in and tried to steal this. Um, this is one of the main things that they were breaking in, trying to steal. The neighbor was also trying to steal this as well. Um, you know, uh, um, I believe they found some other things out there. Um, as soon as I went back to dig up some more, 
my ride had left, or my, my family had left, and they already had this, and, you know, I was going to, you know, dig some more up in, in the same spot as this and that. When I went out there, they had already roped it off, marked it off my spot, as well as the other spot that I had right there. That, and, and they said, I'm not allowed in it, or something like that. And I said, huh? And I, I was mad. Like I said, I thought I was fixing to find something. I didn't realize this was a whole piece. And, um, um, and they said, well, we, we got to go. We got to go. Um, so, you know, uh, had to go. Road, as soon as we got back here, they dropped me off and went straight back out there. They dropped me off and went straight back out there. All of them did. They stayed out there for two or three hours after that. I was pissed, you know? Anyways, um, I was pissed that I, had, you know, went and found and marked off the spots, okay, and they had basically, you know, circled me out of my own thing. Anyways, so I just went to the store and got a brush and started doing these and started brushing this off, you know, uh, and this is what it was. I had the best find out of anyone, and <clears throat> this is... Like I said, fully together, the markings on it. I believe they had the chip carbon dated or something, and that's how I know it was so old. I think I also had took some pictures of this, and it's supposed to be very, very old. A uh, collector's, you know. Um, anyways, let me circle around so you can see the markings. I believe, I don't know what they mean, but I know they mean something. And, um,. Uh, like I said, it's very rare and old. Um, I think it's rare anyway. And this is what else I want to offer with the five melody blocks. As well, it's supposed to be, you know, it's supposed to be very valuable as well. So, I don't know what these markings are right there. It's basically two lines going that way and then up and down. Um, I'm sure it means something. I don't know what tool they used as well to actually make these markings, but I'm sure it was somebody freehanding it. That's why I say they had to have made a lot of these because you can tell there's skill involved in these. They use skill to make these. Craftsmanship. And, uh, like I said, they have all of these. And then, I don't know what that is either. It's something though. If you see it, it's really, it's really cool. I'm trying to get as close as possible. So you can see, you know, even inside here, there's little lines. Detail, there's all kind of detail in this. Um, so, like I said, it's, and I don't know what these are either. I know they mean something. I know they mean something. And, you know, it's just, or that, you know, and it looks really cool. Like I said, there's that marking, and then on the same spot, equally around is the same one. Boom, boom, you know. Um, so, like I said, um, the, the, that's the markings on it. Um, you can see inside, if you want to see, you can't really see anything. Um, you can see in the back part, you know. So, the bottom part, I mean, um, this is, this is it, and, uh, um, anyway, so it goes around, and this is basically it. I want to offer this as well. I keep this, um, out of the light. I do not keep it in any, any light whatsoever, um. And I keep it wrapped in the softest material, this, so it never breaks. And basically, this is what I want to offer as well. Um, so that's what I wanted to say. Um, I want to offer this along with the uh, five melody blocks. I offer all of this of my own free will. I don't have much time. I remember something else that happened to me in 2014. I'm going to talk about it in a minute, but this is what I have to offer. Thank you.